Hello and welcome back to NSUSpartans.com, fueled by Gatorade. I'm Ross Gordon, the play-by-play -play voice of the Spartans, and it's a sad day here at Dick Price Stadium. Your final score is 17-3. South Carolina State defeats Norfolk State on Senior Day and Military Appreciation Day. It was a good night, though, for quarterback Malik Stokes. Even though he was only 7-16 of 16 on the day, he didn't play well to start the ball game. Ended up 4-8 of eight going into halftime, but just couldn't pick it up after the halftime session was over. The Spartans were tied with South Carolina State 3-3 three three going into the break. Norfolk State University falls to 3-9 on the season. South Carolina State improves to 9-3 on the season with an outside shot of making it to the playoffs. This is the final game for Norfolk State this year, and Coach Adrian looked back on his season and talked about how things Things really could have changed for Norfolk State if a couple breaks would have bounced their way. Well, I think it pretty much tells our season. Every game's kind of been like that. Yeah, we've had a chance to win and just can't get over the top. Norfolk State offensively was up to the task today, gaining 218 total yards to only 208 for South Carolina State. We talked to senior tight end Joe Hawkins about the game today, and he talked about how difficult this game was against a very good defense in South Carolina State. Uh, it's a very emotional game, you know, it's, a, it's the last one for me and the seniors and um, we just, just fell a little bit short. Uh, we worked hard all week and we definitely wanted this win to prevent South Carolina from even having an opportunity to make it to the playoffs. But uh, South Carolina State was a tough team and we just fell short. The Norfolk State University defense was again up to the task today, only giving up just over 200 yards today and taking away the football from South Carolina State four times, including two interceptions and two fumbles. Norfolk State University will wrap up its season today here at Dick Price Stadium. It's been a season full of ups and downs, but Norfolk State has a lot to look forward to, but also has a lot to be thankful for, especially this year. Deuce Finch went over 1,000 yards, even though he was injured today. We hope everything's all right with him. We also saw the play of tight end Joe Hawkins continue to improve and we talked to Joe about this being his last year at Norfolk State University he's on plan he's on pace to graduate in December and he talked a little bit about his future plans here at Norfolk State and beyond uh, after graduation you know um, I'm gonna definitely try follow my dream uh, make it to the you know to the next level if I get it if I'm blessed with a shot but if not I uh, definitely want to go to grad school uh, get my degree in education and become an athletic director somewhere so Norfolk State season is over. The Spartans fall to 3-9 and nine today with the loss, and they conclude the conference season with a 3-5 and five conference record. That will do it from us here at NSU's Dick Price Stadium. We want to thank everyone for their help with football this year, including the Sports Information Department and everyone on the NSU Sports Network for all of their help. Norfolk State University, 3-9 and nine this season, and we'll look to get things turned around in the offseason. I'm Ross Gordon, and you're watching NSUSpartans.com. I'm fueled by Gatorade.